Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borg, and it's going to be a quick preview to the Philadelphia Phillies pivotal series against the Atlanta Braves. If you enjoy the content, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Or you can wait to the end of the video when that cool widget pops up with the Professor Joe logo that you can subscribe at there. Let's get right into it. The Phillies, of course, come off of beating the Pirates in three out of four, but having a very bad showing in getting spanked and shut out in their last game at home. So they look to bounce back. From that, in their first game here, where wheels instead of a wheel or Wednesday, which sounds a lot better, it is a wheel or Tuesday this week, as Zach Wheeler goes up against former Phil Charlie Morton, who's 13-6 and six with a 3-5-3 ERA, who's still a very good pitcher in his own right, but Zach Wheeler is just on another level at this point of his career, 14-9 and nine and a 2-7-9 ERA. We need the real deal, re real deal wheels tonight in order to get it done. We're going to need him to go deep in the game. And we're going to need a more productive game, obviously, from our lineup as well in order to get going. Um, I don't like, even though it's a righty, um, I don't like how we keep in consistently since Matt Beerling did get a big hit against a righty the other day. I feel like you might want to play him more, but Odubel is hitting 260, so I see why Joe wants to get him in the lineup still. He's leading off tonight. Gene Segura is batting second. Harper batting third. JT batting fourth. Miller batting fifth. He's playing first. McCutcheon batting 6th, D.D. batting 7th, Freddie Galvis batting 8th, and then, of course, the pitcher, Zach Wheeler, batting ninth. With the Braves are going to have the power-hitting slugger Jorge Soler lead off, with Freddie Freeman batting 2nd, Albies batting 3rd, Austin Riley 4th, Adam Duvall, who's been on a freaking rampage this season, um, batting 5th, Eddie Rosario batting 6th, Travis Day no, another former Philly prospect, batting 7th, and to be Swanson going eighth, and then of course the pitcher Charlie Morton batting ninth. So the Phillies, of course, need to come in this series. They're going to need very good pitching, but they're going to need consistent offensive play. The Braves, the reason they are in first place in the division is they've been a little bit more consistent than the Phillies, and they've been more consistent on both ends because of their pitching staff via also scoring on their um what's it called run and RBI total from their offense. Sorry, I had a uh, brain freeze right there. But that's what they're going to need. They're going to need to keep pace with the Braves because the Braves have a very good offense. They went out and made the moves necessary. Really, if you look at both teams, you would say the Braves are the better deadline because they were able to get the Duvalls of the world and the Jorge Solares of the world where the Phillies brought in different guys like Ian Kennedy that's been it all right. But obviously, no, he, he really hasn't been all right. Gibson's been all right. And then you have, yeah, so, I mean, the Phillies just did not make the equal to moves is them. Gibson's closer to it when he's pitching his best, where Ian Kennedy has been adequate in some games and then very piss poor in others. So uh, we'll hopefully see maybe him get hot because the last time our Phillies were back two and a half games in the division was before we moved to game two of this series, was in 2007 when, of course, they came back when the Mets were ahead of them at that time. So maybe that's a good sign for things, but that was also a miracle in itself that year. And miracles usually do not get repeated, but hell, who am I to say it can't happen? Then in game two, we have Aaron Nola going up against Max Freed, which will be at 720, just like tonight's games at 720 tomorrow. Uh, Max Freed has been pitching really well. He's 13-7 with a 312, or Nola's 9-8 with a 4.64, and we've had to come back from, just like in the Pirates series, Twice already this month. Don't make it three times, Aaron Ola. Step up. Pitch like you know you can pitch. And pitch like we know you can pitch as fans. We do believe in you. We're just tired of seeing this Cole Hamels 9 as struggle from Aaron Ola this year. And hopefully he's able to pick it up and have a big start in the end of the year. Because guess what? Everything's about what you do going into the playoff time and at the playoff time. This is basically your postseason already. You're in the postseason right now. Everything's a must win right now for the Phillies. So they're basically in the postseason. This is when you turn on the high gears. If you have a great game now and it really helps us and we win the first two games and we're only a half game back because of you and Wheeler, people are going to easily start remembering how you did great then and start forgetting about how crappy you did for the rest of the season. So have a great game. On Wednesday, Wheels, or not Wheels, excuse me, Knowles, and he'll be in great shape. On Thursday, you got Kyle Gibson, the aforementioned Kyle Gibson, who's been all right since coming in at 10-8 and eight at 360. And Ian Anderson actually has a 360 ERA at 8-5. and five, So uh, one of the rare occurrences, you have perfectly matched up ERA. Um, Ian Anderson's a guy you got to try to jump on. Otherwise, similar to Gibson, um, they're going to be able to just both pitch deep into the game. Uh, Anderson is a little bit more pep in his step when it comes to his pitches. 
but both of those guys, I would say, are more location specialists than they try to blow it past you any given day, and they're both at their best when they try to get out more via contact rate rather than trying to strike a bunch of guys out. Not that they can't do that, that's just when they're at their best, when they have a good ground ball rate and are getting out via the contact rate. But that has been a quick preview to the Phillies and Braves series. The Phillies got to come out strong. They got to have good defense, obviously. That's first and foremost. You can't have bad defense against Atlanta, who plays a great defensive game. Other than being an RBI whiz, Adam Duvall is a freaking monster in the field. And then you have to obviously have very, very good, consistent offense in this series and very, very good, consistent pitching because Atlanta's got good guys going up against. You got to face Morton, you got to face Freed, and you got to face Anderson. Two good young pitchers and one great veteran that's been there in playoff races before in Charlie Morton. So the Phillies got to bring their A game. This is a make it or break it time. Let's go Phillies. Ring that bell. Bring that ring the bell energy into Atlanta. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and go Phillies.